Oh, oh. really doing a vlog? Yeah, it's the first time of that. Yeah, I just decided. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't have cameras. Why, why the hell not? To be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. So we're going to record a show on the road. We haven't done it just yet. We're still in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. I think we're going to stay in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Yeah, for a while. This is my homeland. Yeah. Bumfuck well, yeah. nowhere. That's where we're from. Oh. That's where I'm going to shoot shit. Oh, yeah? I'm shooting shit right now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I am. You win. <laughs> So, what, what are we doing today, guys? We're going to Tampa. We're going to do commentary at another show. Christ, this is rocky. Could you drive a little not rockier? Drive on the grass. <laughs> oh! oh! I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, there was a turtle. That's sort of... Well, yeah, I just happened to shake the camera at the same time Pork's freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're going to Tampa to... Uh, the this Sunday is, showdown. Yeah, this is just a small show with just family and friends, pretty much, is what I've been told. If yeah, it's a free open show, so... Free. Yeah? I mean, it's, it's not necessarily family and friends. Oh. I don't there's... know. This we don't is, know what's happening. a weird situation here. We were told, hey, come do commentary. And we said yes. And there's some good wrestlers on the card. Some guys that we saw at the what show. Yeah. So... I'm not gonna turn that down. It's gonna be fun, but it's gonna be interesting. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in seeing like, what, what the hell we're about to do. Well, it's not what again. No, exactly. <laughs> it's a new promotion. What? Exactly. What? That's why. That's first we got to figure out who we're working for. What? Uh. No, not what. <laughs> yeah, it's not what. Hey, I think you picked the worst road to film this on. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna stop now. We're going to probably record the podcast because you don't have to watch that. Are you already sick of it? Really? Well, I don't eat out a lot. I don't like eating at home. Save more money. Yeah. We just had a conversation about that. <laughs> we did. This food would rather go eat out instead of be at home cooking a nice, healthy hey, meal. I cooked all week last week. How much money did you save? I don't know. A lot of fucking money. <laughs> I don't buy the food. It doesn't matter. All right, though. Hey, fuck it. <laughs> you at home. What the fuck was that? There's no problem. Got shit going off. So, do you approve of this job or no? <laughs> no. What would you <laughs> rather do? <laughs> what would you rather do? Um, well, I go to school for CNA classes at night. Oh, okay. That I do. So, you really work at Cracker Barrel? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what? <laughs> Cracker Barrel is shit. On your break time, you can go sit in the front porch and walk out, you know, rock back and forth. Uh, play checkers. Play checkers. Eat some popsicles. <laughs> huh? Okay. That sounds pretty good. Better than this. You from around here? Yeah. You went to South Sumter? Did you? Hell no. <laughs> Chris River? Uh. Hey, hey, don't be, hey. Don't be fucking up my food because I said that. They said they're ready for you. All right. Thank you. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bitch, took my down $2. We were getting there on time. If it ain't random. Alright, so where are we at now, guys? We are in a besides small... Her, huh? Besides harassing a Burger King employee. Hey, that happens. <laughs> we are in a small hit town called Bushmill. Uh, what are we Are we getting on the highway? Or are we just turning around? Are we getting on 75? Yeah, yeah, we're oh. getting on. We about to hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. No. They just put me in another goddamn burger in for fucking up my order. And call my name Jeremy Jacoby Jerry. Yep. Bullshit. We have another new member of the Future Heels podcast, Jacoby Jerry. Yeah, my shit's <laughs> so bigger than this burger. <laughs> you I saw your ass down, you fuck me. Look at that. You oh, fucking bitch. Oh, I got that on film. Suing. We're suing. Yeah, throw one of those speech, at him. You saw the double cheeseburgers you speak. I don't want to get hit with those things. Those things hurt. <laughs> so we're on our way to Tampa. We fucked up a little by leaving the Charger at Maya. <laughs> Sounds bad. 
Uh, an hour. Yeah, yeah, that did set us back a long fucking time. And we're halfway there. No, we we're halfway there. there. Whoa! We weren't halfway there. Bon Jovi said we was halfway there. The bon- where the fuck is Bon Jovi now? Yeah, like, he gone. We had to turn back around, so he kept going. <laughs> He was that winner. He was that winner. Uh, well, at least I realized before we got there. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Very good point. Shit happens. We on the road. We're going to do what we do. And we're going to be the best at what we do. Oh, the rain. rain! And the rain. Rain wizard. You should call him and see if it's actually raining. Oh, yeah. We don't have any other we don't what? You heard me. You heard me. No, we didn't. No, we don't have any other numbers. Oh, right, we don't. We can call them on Facebook, though. Yeah, call them on Facebook, though. Well, your radar already stopped. Welcome to Florida. That is Florida. <laughs> <laughs> just a little pee up from north. <laughs> I wonder if it's like that everywhere else, because we're just like, welcome to Florida, but I've never lived anywhere else. I don't know if the rain patterns are the same. I don't know. Does it rain like that in Toronto? I don't think it rains in Toronto. It snows in Toronto. Well, it does. Well, the Niagara Falls, and that's uh, America. 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 Fuck hell. It rains on the American side of Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> Never rains in Canada. Just snow. Look, we're in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing out here. That's good. You can punch Please. somebody in the face and nobody will know. If you punch someone in the face in the middle of nowhere, does it make a sound? Hell yeah, it does. It depends <laughs> if you're drunk or not. Fair enough. If you're drunk, yeah, I know. That's why you always gotta get with me stuff. the hell is on the side of the road? Oh, oh was that a tire? Oh, it wasn't a tire. I thought it was an alligator. It was a road gator. The <laughs> road gator, yeah. It's a good idea. Slow down. The rogue road gator. Speaking of road gators, we should probably get new tires for the car. Well, now you say that. No, we're good, but. Oh, we're gonna die. I we're can't, gonna die. y'all. We're gonna die. No, Why my, can't you die? My tires are good. I'm just saying, I need to. We should probably get new ones. You're not a driver. Jeremy did claim to be immortal earlier. Yeah. You ain't gonna let people know that. Start what does it matter? You're immortal. Yeah, but at least gonna be ready. I'm gonna be ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm immortal if I'm ready for it. <laughs> Shittiest superpower ever. Hey, don't be jealous, bitch. He's immortal <laughs> if he sees it coming. That means prepared. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Someone from behind. <laughs> so, so superpower with a condition. Yeah. <laughs> you have a superpower if it's like your your if and app. Both y'all can kiss my fucking ass. <laughs> I saw a thing on uh, it was a Facebook post. Oh, ring. Uh, tell me your fantasy and I'll ruin it. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> There's something like that. Like you're, I'm immortal, but you have to see it coming. God damn it! People getting hot in here. Someone else posted something like they had unlimited cigarettes or something, and but the condition was they never had a lighter or match. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I'm not a smoker, but that just sucks. That's like I got a shit ton of chicken noodle soup, but no can opener. Oh yeah. Ain't no knife enough to get open with. What would you do? I've seen how to open a can with nothing. Nothing except for some concrete. Yeah. I don't think you'd want to do that with soup. But since we're recording, I'm yeah. going to ask a ransom question. All okay. Right. Yeah. I, saw, I saw this on Facebook. WWE right real quick. What wrestler who was real good, a great performer, good with the mic, they ain't got to be good with the mic, that been with the company for a long time, that has not been the champion? WWE champion. Who is? Name a few. Rowdy Roddy Piper. 
He was only Intercontinental Champion. So that's the highest he really got. Really? Yeah. I, mean, I know. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, uh, if, you, if you looked that shit up, you'd be like, holy crap. Kurt Henning? Yeah. Uh, Rick Rude. Yeah, Rick Rude. Ron Simmons. He was WCW Champion. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, there, there's something to that. But he wasn't WWE. Uh... That's my role model. It's a lot more. To be honest with you. I'm sure there's a lot. I, I'm sorry, I can't think of it. Owen Hart? Owen Hart, hey, yes. For obvious reasons, he would have been. Yeah. I gotta look, I'll look up that post. Yeah, and yeah, and I think, I think we've talked, me and Brian have at least talked about that on the podcast is not everyone can be heavyweight champion. But also, not everyone needs to be heavyweight champion to be successful. Right, but if you got the skills and the looks and shit, and you've been in the company for a while, good night. At least you know, give a little run. But somebody like a like a Johnny Mundo, is he not considered successful because he was never heavyweight champion? I'd say he is successful. Yeah, I mean, on his on his level, he is successful. Look at Cole Cabana. Is he not successful? He's very successful. Young Bucks. Yeah. But again, this is this is rehashing, you know, a couple episodes ago we talked about this. Look it up. You know, look it up? Yeah, that post I was, I was talking in. Yeah, who else? Uh, else? There's a lot of names on there. Scott Hall? Yeah, I think. I'm not sure about Scott Hall. Got any more, Brian? Nope. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Rowdy Roddy Piper though one though that blows my mind. He was never a, like a, a major champion. He was a, he was part of like all the major angles, just never really the championship angles. Uh, Brutus Beefcake, maybe? I don't, I don't, I don't think know. he ever won the championship. Jerry Lawler? I don't think the King of Champion. No? Definitely not. Uh, Find that post? We'll be back when Jeremy finds the post. We know it's lean, it's protein, it's full of muscle. The yeah. motherfuckers run all day. They eat hay. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I, I, fuck it. I'd rather eat a horse because it look better than a cow anyway. You want to eat something that got snot and shit come out of their fucking nose? Or eat something that's pretty, nice long hair, but kick your fucking ass. And when you tip it over, it won't die. I'd rather really eat the horse. Yeah, you know, the horse is like one of the main things I'm afraid of. The horses are like one of my biggest fears. They're just like, uh, how much does a fucking horse weigh? Too much. Too much poundage, and it's all fucking muscle. I'll give you that. Like, have you ever seen an out of shape horse? No. No. They're all just fucking. Well, that's the bitch carrying a damn animals. pony in her stomach. Run you the fuck over. I almost got ran over by a cow once. That's all over the story. I almost got ran over by a bitch on a damn scooter <laughs> at Walmart. I'm sitting there. That's the same thing as a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there looking at some incense and some and some, uh, some candle spells, trying to set the mood in the house. And I'm saying, "Baby, I can't stop." I'm gonna go. This old motherfucking bitch about to run my ass over. You gonna use me as a fucking bopper or use that chair? One of those little rascals. Yeah. I'm not. You think I'm gonna forget about tripping Sunny? I thought we already did a trip to Sunny. No, we didn't. It's on I, film now. What's up? It's on camera now. Yep. Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, never, never Now, as I start a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't on I camera. No one's going to get that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I had to declare a bankruptcy. <laughs> oh, boy. The things we do for this sport. That trip to Sunny's is related to. 
this sport. For this sport I don't think any motherfucker will go eat barbecue and jump off a tucker 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 tucker. You actually for example you're a stroke. But who's me? Who's me? Oh shit! Actually you owe quite a few people a trip. Brian, shut the fuck up, man. I got there. You gonna make me not come back to Kids Citrus County no more. I was there. No, you wasn't. When I when did we discuss this? It was at the school. Oh, the school. fucking hey. I don't give a fuck about the rest of them motherfuckers. I think it was everyone involved in our final show. I did that so they could shut the fuck up in this wrestle. Probably. No, it was uh, it was whoever was involved setting it up. Oh, I ain't made. Oh, fuck that. I ain't made that shit. Bullshit. What do you mean? Yeah, we put the whole fucking thing together. And I said, I'll take care of the Sundays. Yeah, whoever was working. I think it was me, you, Keith, and... Do you believe me? I'm just holding you to it. <laughs> I'll take you to Sunnies. But not everybody else. Yeah, I don't know where the fuck Keith is. I don't, who the fuck is Keith? It sounds yeah. like we're going to Sunnies. Free fall. Where you going now? Oh, right after the show. <laughs> You're yeah. buying. Get me a damn gun and we're going to have some damn Sunnies. Fresh Sunnies. Are you killing Sunnies? Or <laughs> oh, I don't see what's sunny, happening not here. Not because you're a nasty bitch. But anyway. I'll go shoot us a hog and put some barbecue on it. Sunny, man. Can I go up? That's Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, there's a Denny's over there. Yeah. <laughs> there was a point over there. I was a fan of Platter. Whoa! Oh, oh. You know what? <laughs> this is going to piss me the fuck off. Jesus. All these goddamn roads in this fuck-ass state, it's going to take them 20 millennial fucking years to fix one fucking road. Get the goddamn shit done. I'm tired of spilling my goddamn ketchup on my goddamn land. People think I won't fucking period because I got ketchup. Look, I got ketchup in my fucking packing shorts. The fuck wrong with you? It's all fucked now. I'm trying to yell, fucking motherfucker. Fix the goddamn rules. Shit. Stop starting on a project when you can't finish this fucking project. It makes sense. It makes sense. God bless a fucking miracle. Fuck. What are we talking about? Uh, uh, Sonny's. Talk goddamn fucking Sonny's. I got a better barbecue joint in Atlanta. Do you? Yeah. Well, what is it? Where? Bubbaloo's. Well, I've heard of Bubbaloo's barbecue. Bubbaloo's pretty good. Where's that? In Atlanta. Oh, okay. I thought you said Atlanta. <laughs> Are we going to Atlanta for barbecue? If you want the best, and I'm paying for it, I'm getting the best. Road trip again. Yeah. Canceling this road trip to go on another road trip. So we got the script, so we just fucking say what we say on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we know what's going to happen. Brian, God damn it, get the fuck off this shit. It's going to make me poop oh my, my pants. Oh, my God. It's going to be... Is it the tone? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's going to start... Burp, oh, I'm done. <laughs> Drop me off right These roads are so bad. I'm so sorry, people watching this video. It's fucking ridiculous. I guess we're going to get a stabilizer for the camera. I don't think that would have helped. No, probably not. I'm holding it pretty it's steady. Not, not a Florida roads. It's fucking it shit not. ridiculous. You know they, let's just pave this one road and leave down there for a month. Oh, Where yeah. the fuck are they going? On vacation? We're also in the least aerodynamic vehicle of all time, the Cube. We're in the fucking <laughs> box. Yep. We fucking... What you call them fuckers that sneak over here? The UPS boxes? <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my> God, <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're getting started. Negro, you son of a bitch. Can I be a hooker? What? Yeah, what? I love you. Fuck you, bye. You didn't charge. What's her name? I love you. I'm, I'm going the way back. I'll call you later. Hey, I need to borrow ten dollars because I just met this girl and she took me to Applebee's. Hello? No, no, I told you I met this girl on the side of the road and she's like, hey boy. 
I'll take you to Applebee's. I'm like, yeah, yeah, bitch, I want me some quesadillas. So I took her to Applebee's and, uh, we And we got quesadillas. We didn't. <laughs> See, quesadillas is a metaphor. Kathleen? Hello? Uh-huh. You, so, uh, I'll see you when I get home. <laughs> Hello? I'll give you a case of deer, bitch. I'll give you that case with the deer. <laughs> what? I love you. You're my daughter. Yell at me again, motherfucker. I love you, bye. Bye! Oh, she was never Damn it, Jacob, why are you recording my, <laughs> my personal life? Because you were going to teach us a lesson. It's for y'all to remember, not everybody else. Everyone on the internet. Anyway, the point of that, but you can, hey, I ain't going to get you no goddamn Chinese food, goddammit. You get your own bang team caca, if I put my caca on your Yahoo. And she's like, oh, fuck you, I want your caca on my Yahoo. I get my own shit. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, I got 28 minutes left to record on this bitch. Yeah, since we didn't have a show. Yeah, okay, we should probably talk about that, huh? Yeah, let's so talk about why we didn't have a show. So, the show was outdoors. Dumb. Here's the outdoors. You can't see anything. Now y'all know There's how the, Yeah, it's raining. Pretty hard. It was raining. Well, I'll, I'll clip in the video that Brian took. It was it boring. It rained. It's Florida. It rained. rained out. Shit happens. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully next show, uh, we'll, we'll be able to do, actually do commentary on. Yeah. I was a little concerned because they started the first match and we weren't even set up yet. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, they're not going to get our commentary. Yeah, they were trying to rush the, the first match to beat the rain so they could get it recorded. I would not comment on that situation. Okay. It didn't happen. So, yeah, yeah, basically shit happens. And rain happens. Yeah. Rain happens often in Florida. Because we are in hurricane season. Yeah, we just started hurricane season. So let's have a... So let's have a match. <laughs> what has happened there? Horse, horse speed. They want a hurricane. <laughs> so let's... Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Damn! Right. Well, thank you for blowing the mic out as usual. Uh, we'll and see Brian drive like a granny. Oh. Look at all these cars on the track. I was going to say, this whole video he's been passing people. Because there's traffic right here on this lane. What about that lane? At least that car, the yellow car, that was way the fuck back there. That's totally different. We'll be in Chris Rubin in eight hours. No. We might stop We might stop for Orlando. What does it say? Let's see if I can zoom in. God, it's only, uh, oh, God, it's only getting shakier. Oh god, it's only getting blurrier! Oh, it's here. Damn big ass truck passing us. Uh, sorry, it's more aerodynamic. <laughs> Everything is more aerodynamic than this thing. Everything. I feel like we could put this on a lake and like you press the gas pedal and we'll float. <laughs> what? Wait. What? <laughs> What's aerodynamics have to do with buoyancy? What are you talking about? If you're not, you're either one or the other. You're either aerodynamic or you're buoyant. Did you know that? <laughs> you was gonna buoyant shit like that. We in a fucking box. Box float. Look, Timmy. I mean, y'all gonna get me in trouble with this shit. Boxes don't necessarily uh, float. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you're right? Round, you fly. You know what I'm talking square, about. Where you float? No one knows what you're talking about. I don't want to be. You know, the R word on the podcast. On the camera. Well, this is how much. So I might as well just say it. Good. How the fuck do you think them Chicos fucking float over here in the UPS box? I mean, this is what you started saying earlier. Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah. Well, that brings back my damn point. They don't float over here. Car, 
What? See, we are floating, see? <laughs> I told y'all, we gonna start floating. Oh, there's a truck in front of us that looks like the back of the ocean. It yeah. is the ocean. It what do you mean the, the back of the ocean? It's also the front of the ocean. <laughs> <What is laughs> Oceans the usually don't have There's the back, back of the truck that looks like the ocean. We can't show the camera. Because we're Where behind is? a boat with Chevrolet. Where is the front of the ocean? <laughs> Up. Like we were Is walking, there a front of, of ocean? We were walking into Barnes and Nobles the other day, and my daughter runs up because the door was starting to close. She goes, "No, the exit!" And my fiance was like, "No, that's not the exit. It's the entrance." Like, well, if you're walking out, it's still the exit. So, uh, I forget yeah, where I was going with this. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, the front and back of the ocean. Yeah, and a door is both an entrance and an exit. Always. My daughter, the philosopher. When one door opens, someone usually walks through. Stupid thing. <laughs> or usually, if one door opens, somebody coming in with a gun, somebody give me a fucking money. That too. The fuck that, that come from? Could have. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just came out. I only get happens as many times as people just. <laughs> when one we, door we was just at a club. Now people do that, so it's stuck in the back of my head. I apologize. When one door opens, find out who the fuck opened it. <laughs> Could be dangerous. When one door opens, make sure you don't drop the soap. See? I'm gonna take me in there. When one door opens, shut the fucking door where you're born in a goddamn barn! Happies and happies? Happies and happies. All boys. night long, boys. Happies and happies. Happies and happies. I can't okay. say it. Brush some sandos. We're gonna. What? That's a new one. <laughs> That's hey, a new one. I've tried to end this video like five times and you guys keep saying shit. I won't say nothing. So we're gonna do a crush from Sandos. Sandos. What? Sandos. 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 Uh, how many times do you think you said that a day, Brooks? Twice, Just actually. Kidding, I don't give a fuck. Oh. <laughs> Jacob, uh, I gave you an end of your video. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I ain't saying that. I'm running. Hey, guys, what's, uh, what's the name of our podcast? I don't know. This it doesn't matter name. what the name of our podcast is. It's the Future Heels. We're going to go record episode 18. We're up to 18, guys. We did a... I saw that from my favorite podcast. Man! We didn't get to give out any stickers. Son of a bitch. bitch. We got no, stickers. No, I think I'm more mad than I have been all <laughs> fucking day. At least I did not spend my time punching out all those fucking stickers. Yeah. Or I'd be furious. Hey, maybe we can hand them out at the next next t show. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Keep they don't let you do that. That's that. What do you think about that? <coughs> Oi. Good point. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, we're gonna. How far away are we? An hour and six minutes, and then we're gonna record episode eighteen. Murda. So go check that out. Go to futurevillains.com. Look me up on Twitter at Best in the Realm. That's Prime Man Twenty Five. That's Jeremy Brooks Forty Two. He's 25. He's 42. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> I'm ageless. I feel like it. Uh, find us on iTunes, Future Heels Podcast, and on YouTube. Man, what are they building over there? It's a stadium. That's a car dealership. Yeah, they're always car dealerships. What you say? Yeah, 25 years. What? What was I doing at 25? You was fucking something, wasn't you? <laughs>